This video is chock full of awesome fall DIYs and I'll show you what I do with this Dollar Tree fall foliage and this random tree branch and I'm going to show you what I do with it right now. On this channel I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor and if we haven't met yet my name is Lisa and this is our gray house. Now I'm not sure if you can really call this a DIY or is it maybe a hack but I'll let you be the judge of that. What I'm basically doing is trimming down this fall foliage that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm using twine to attach it to the branches. This foliage is really so beautiful and I just love how all the colors look together. And because of the shape of this random tree branch, I didn't plan on keeping this because it would just be a little harder to store. So that's why I'm using jute twine to attach the foliage. And if you wanted a more permanent hold, of course you could use like hot glue or something. I'm just trying to space out the colors and make it look more filled in. And I won't bore you with all of like watching the whole process, but after about 30 minutes, this was all I had completed. So it was definitely a little more time consuming than I thought. I think this really turned out great, but in my mind, this was going to take up more space than it did. But overall, the pop of color was perfect for this corner of my front porch. Let's pause for a moment so I can share that this video is part of the Hello Harvest open playlist hosted by the Rusted Willow and DIY from House to Home. And the guest host this month is the Chic Show DIY and the links to their channels and the playlist will be down below. Now back to the DIYs. I've got this wood round from Dollar Tree and after removing the hanger and the sticker, I'm standing it with Waverly Wax and the color Antique. And this time I'm just using a scrap piece of cloth to wipe it on and off. And I tape off a section in the middle and paint it with Rust-Oleum's Ultra Matte Chalk Paint in the color Linen. And I made some decals using my Cricut and I reverse weeded it so I could use it as a stencil. And I'm using permanent vinyl though, so it did pull up some of the paint when I removed the stencil. <laughs> and I don't know if you can really like see it or not, but I can. I stenciled on a trio of pumpkins and then I've decided you really couldn't see them very well. So I added the rest of the decals that I had cut out, the words advice from a uh, and be well rounded. I'm just kind of like, well, you see me weeding as I go. <laughs> Anyways, I used my paper transfer tape to apply them so that I didn't pull up any more of the paint than like, you know, necessary <laughs> or anything like that. And I knew that I needed to make the pumpkins stand out more, like I said before. So I used a white and an orange paint pen to fill in the pumpkins a little bit more. Just kind of doing it until I thought like you could notice them. Okay, so this is how I made the bow. I took that really wide burlap and I did glue it to make a circle. And then I just took some random pieces of ribbon and kind of crisscrossed them, crisscross applesauce, and I dovetailed the ends. Kind of made a messy bow, but kind of not sort of, but yes, kind of a messy bow. I need to slow this down so you all can see it. If you want me to do that, please leave a comment below and let me know. I'm not super great at bows, but I am practicing and trying to get better. Oh, look at me. I need, do need to adjust because it felt like weird having one orange piece at the top and then at the bottom it just looked off balance. So I kind of balanced it up. And then I added a bunch of this like little pine cone stuff that I got from Dollar Tree last year or maybe the year before. It turned out really, really cute, I think, in my opinion. <laughs> but I mean, I think it turned out super cute and it hangs on my front door and I just love how all the colors work together, especially against the, my door color is by Sherwin-Williams and it's called Intense Teal. And I just love how especially the fall colors just like they all just like pop against one another. I just think it turned out super cute. Here's another super quick and easy project. I took two dish towels that I got from the Dollar Tree and to make a square you kind of put the towel horizontal and I folded down one corner down to the bottom. You kind of see what I'm doing there and then you cut off the excess. You do the same for the other towel but you keep the excess because you really could make another pillow with it. And so like you know waste not want not. See, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You're going to put the towels right sides together and then hot glue around, but be sure to leave an opening on one end at least big enough to <laughs> get your hand through because you're going to turn it inside out and then you're going to stuff it. And I used stuffing from an old pillow that we were going to throw out. Now, I did use hot glue. You could use that fabric glue if you wanted to, but you know. Uh, it just hot glue was quicker and easier and it was going to work well enough for what I'm using it for. Like I said, this stuffing is from an old pillow and I just saved it because I could use it for something like this. And it turns out super cute. You just stuff it. Some people like theirs like really stuffed. I liked mine almost really stuffed, but not quite like so super stuffed that you can't get anything else in it. And then you're just going to hot glue that little opening 
and there's that, here's how it looks. I just think it looks so good. It's a perfect blend of colors to sit in the basket by my front door, and I just love how it fits right in with my other cozy blankets. All right, now let's do a sign for my front porch. I'm using three of these Dollar Tree signs, but I need to put them all together. So I'm using some wood glue and some large paint stir sticks that I got from Lowe's to attach them together. And I also used a bunch of clips that were totally extra and not really necessary, but that's how I did it. With my Cricut, I made this large decal that I'm gonna use as a stencil. So to do that, you kind of reverse weed it. You pull out the stuff that you're going to, where you want the paint to be essentially. And just be careful. I did have to kind of break it up instead of being one big sheet of vinyl because, you know, the Cricut can only make a decal that's so big. And I'm just trying to lay it out how I want it. I saw a similar sign, I think it was at antiquefarmhouse.com and I thought it looked cute. So um, theirs was slanted and so I thought it looked cute, so I was going to try to make it a little bit slanted. I had marked where the, how it was laying so that I would know where to lay the stencil down and make sure it was in the space that I wanted it. And then I just used paper transfer tape to do that. And you can see I have a little bit of help there. And I'm putting down the words pumpkin and season. And I did like the color of the sign just the way it was, so I didn't paint it first or anything like that. But after applying the stencil, I did use some white chalk paint so that it would help the stencil be more crisp when I did stencil on it. Now, some people do a layer of Mod Podge, but you do. Then I used Waverly chalk paint in the color pumpkin to stencil on the words pumpkin season. And as you can see, I've also put down some blue painter's tape where the stencil is kind of close to the edge so I don't accidentally paint on the sign. And I'm using a circle sponge brush that comes in a set from Dollar Tree. You just dab on the paint up and down in like an up and down motion and just make sure you have good coverage all around. So it's very easy to do. I removed the pumpkin word stencil with no issues. And I use my weeding tool to get out the smaller pieces and touch up the paint as needed. And I do the same for the word season, but if you'll notice, by the first S on the left side, the vinyl pulled up some of the sign material, but it's an easy fix though. Just add a little bit of white paint and you really don't notice it at all. And if I thought about it, I should have filled in the holes on the left side or tried to make, you know, matching holes on the right. I didn't, but <laughs> you really can't see them from a distance anyways. And this is how it turned out. I added two eye hooks at the top so I could hang it with some jute twine. It hangs on my front porch on a vintage screen door and I think it looks super cute. I might be could add some embellishments, like maybe like a giant bow or something. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below, but I actually kind of like it just like it is. Obviously we have an Easter sign and it's from Dollar Tree and I'm just placing a very wet rag on top so I can remove the paper. The rag was really wet and I let it set a while so the paper was super easy to remove and I had Captain's help while I weeded out this decal that I'm gonna to add to the sign. He's such a good boy. I taped off the intersection and used Rust-Oleum's Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color linen to paint the outer portion of the sign. And I mean, I do a, like a good coat, but I don't get crazy with it. I used some washi tape to create two thin lines, one at the top and one at the bottom, and I taped off the two sides and painted the intersection with Waverly Chalk Paint in the color pumpkin. Those two thinner lines that I made with washi tape, I used a teal color to add a pop of color, and then I removed all of the tape. And I used my favorite paper transfer tape to transfer the decal, and I placed it on the sign. And to top it off, I added a messy bow, and I did go back and add two small pumpkins on the bottom, and it turned out so cute. I had this one on my blanket ladder, and I absolutely love it. Here are three more wood blank signs from the Dollar Tree, and we're gonna combine them to make a bigger sign. I'm going to use the back side to make this sign and I'm using wood glue to attach paint stir sticks to stabilize this and then I'm weighing it down with heavier paint to you know help it dry to stay attached anyway I went a different route than my usual colors that I use and I painted with this very soothing brown color which I wish I remembered the name but I'm editing this while on vacation so I don't have the paint color handy but um it's not mushroom I can't think if maybe it's not territorial beige maybe it is I don't know but it's a really pretty color. 
I made a decal with my Cricut, but you could totally hand letter this or use stickers. And if you don't have a Cricut, please don't let that stop you from creating. There's always beauty in art and whatever you make is going to be just gorgeous because you're, you're making it. It's unique. It's, this is how the sign turned out. And looking at it now, it is a bit plain, but I really do love it. And the sentiment is a really good one as well. Last sign I'm using is from Hobby Lobby when it was 90% off, so it was very inexpensive. And I painted the sign with Rust-Oleum's Chalk Ultra Matte Paint in the color Linen. It is one of my favorite colors. And it usually, I mean, it has really good coverage too. But I changed my mind. And I went back and painted the sign with Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Pumpkin. And I removed the painter's tape that I had put on so I didn't get the pumpkin color paint everywhere. And I weeded the decal and I then added it to my sign. This turned out so beautiful and I'm absolutely in love with it. I have a vintage window over my mantle and I hang the wreath in the middle of it. And I added some fall foliage from Dollar Tree and I placed this new sign in the middle and it's just stunning y'all. Probably my favorite piece of the whole video. Thanks y'all so much for watching my video today. Please check out the playlist and the host channels. And I'm also running a crafting group on Facebook called Crafty DIYs on a Budget, which is linked below as well. And if you want to follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or over on Instagram or TikTok, my handle is Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye!